Hello, and welcome to Loveless Astrology. I am your host, Loveless. Johnny Depp is fresh from a big financial win. He beat Amber Heard in court, initially to the sum of $15 million. However, it won't appear in his bank account overnight. Her punitive damage amount was reduced to $350,000, and she was awarded $2 million in a counterclaim, bringing that total down to $8,350,000. There is a chance that money could be reduced even more, and again, she has to come up with the money first in order to pay him. There's also the implausible, but not impossible, chance that she makes some sort of appeal. But we're really not looking at that today. Aside from this, what do the stars say concerning his money? Is it true he is a miss, despite being a Guinness World Record holder of highest paid actor? It's said that Johnny Depp is now in the red. And without further ado, let's take a look. As a note, this chart was made back in May, before it was certain he would be awarded money in a lawsuit. As always, we will start with the protagonist of this story, Johnny Depp. Leo is rising, the sign of fame and entertainment, making Johnny the sun in Taurus. In this chart, the sun in Taurus is somewhat well positioned. It's in the 10th house, the house of success, and with the North Node, an indicator of luck and good fortune. Johnny is said to have made about $600 million from 1999 to 2016. Taurus, however, isn't a great sign for the sun concerning strength. I see this positioning as Johnny coasting financially off his name and status. The sun is square Saturn. This is a prohibitive aspect, showing difficulty working as Saturn rules the sixth house. Indeed, because of his shenanigans with Amber Heard, he has been blocked from working like he normally does. There is still some negativity perceived around Johnny by potential employers. So, since we're asking about his financial situation, this would be one reason he's not financially sound. I do not think he can afford not to work, but this should improve for him by next May. How is Johnny about money? What is his financial attitude? Taurus in the 10th house will describe. This is very materialistic. He loves acquiring things, beautiful things from possessions to properties, spending money on women, enjoying a high level of creature comforts and pleasures. He will spend money accordingly to his perceived status. It's said, Deb spent his money on mansions, a fleet of luxury cars, traveling only by private plane and blasting his late friend Hunter S. Thompson's ashes from a cannon. He also spent $100,000 per month for an addiction doctor, $10,000 a day for security detail, and $300,000 per month for a full-time staff, living like a king. In a lawsuit against his former management, it was stated Depp paid more than $75 million to buy and maintain 14 homes, including a French chateau and a chain of islands in the Bahamas. Depp also spent heavily to buy a 150-foot yacht, fly on private jets and cultivate collections of fine art, and Hollywood memorabilia, requiring 12 storage facilities, the lawsuit said. This lavish lifestyle cost him about $2 million a month. What does Johnny's money ruler, Mercury, have to say? Mercury is in Gemini at the 11th house cusp. This is a strong position, showing what we know to be true. Johnny has the power to manifest a high level of fortune and get the things he wishes in life. However, Mercury is retrograde. Mercury in Gemini usually shows a high level of intelligence, but Mercury is retrograde and thus smart choices aren't being made. Ways that he decides to spend money are bringing him backwards. The 11th house is also an indication of spending money on friends. As mentioned briefly before, in 2005, it said he spent three to five million dollars for a stellar funeral for his dear friend. This dear friend, Hunter S. Thompson, penned the book Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas was based on. Money well spent. All I'm doing is trying to make sure his last wish comes true, Deb said to the Associated Press at the time of the funeral. We had talked a couple of times about his last wishes to be shot out of a cannon of his own design. I just wanted to send my pal out the way he wants to go out. He has also spent a fortune supporting other friends and family. Depp has spent millions helping to support friends, family, and certain employees, the lawsuit against his former management claimed. 10 million was spent for living expenses for his sisters and late mother. He also bought his mother, a multi-million dollar home in Hollywood, and spent $35,000 a month on a residence for her when she was ill. Depp also funded a startup music label run by a childhood friend. 
this friend I believe, to be Bruce Witkin and his label Unison Music. This is said to have cost him over $4 million with no revenue. This purchase definitely seems like the bad investments in friends that Mercury in retrograde in the 11th house shows. Let's look at Jupiter, a natural indicator of fortune. Jupiter is in conjunct the second house, the house of money, by about three degrees. In conjuncts are said to show unhealthy relationships, and indeed, Johnny has an unhealthy relationship with money. As the planet Jupiter implies, he is spending way too much. Jupiter is separating from Neptune, showing that he was most likely wasting a lot of money on addiction in the past. Mandel, Johnny Depp's former financial manager, testified that Depp sent $100,000 to a Dr. David Kipper every month. Depp hired the doctor in 2014 to help treat his addiction issues after he became dependent on opioid medication following a leg injury. Thankfully, as above, so below. This aspect does show this behavior being in the past, and now he is most likely spending money in his transition away from drug use, which is good, but the amount of expense is not. The ninth house, the house Jupiter is in, also represents his lawyer. Indeed, it's very likely he has spent a lot of money on Camille Vasquez and the unfortunate trial against Amber Heard. Lastly, we'll look at the part of fortune, which is another important describer of Johnny's wealth or lack thereof. The part of fortune is in the fifth house in Sagittarius. This is wealth made from performing as an actor and traveling to distant lands in the process of such. With Sagittarius, the Pirates of the Caribbean comes to mind. So we've spoken about the past and present. How does Johnny move forward financially? There are certain difficulties shown ahead. Mercury, the money ruler, is retrograde. It shows great potential with Gemini, but trouble moving forward. He needs to sort out his finances and make smarter choices. He is also used to living at a high level, and I see him continuing this attitude for a while. Will he be able to scale down the extravagant style he has lived for over 20 years comfortably? I think 2023 will be much better for Johnny and would expect him to be working much more by this time. Mercury sextile Jupiter here could show the money coming from Amber Heard, but just as Mercury retrograde implies, there will most likely be trouble and delay here. I doubt it will come quickly, and who knows what the actual amount he receives will be. And now for a tiny bit of tarot. I pulled a tarot card inquiring about Johnny's financial future. The Knight of Sword appears. A card associated with Taurus and Gemini. Two signs that are prominent in this chart. Coincidence? He will be ambitious and determined. He will be hustling and putting a lot of energy into making money. This card is associated with financial gains and windfalls. Money matters heading towards a positive direction. The Knight of Swords also speaks to me of a handsome man. Even though he's older, someone who still has that youthful charm. Indeed, this August, it was announced Johnny Depp would return to working with Dior, netting a seven-figure deal as the face of their cologne, Sauvage. Well, that's my reading on Johnny's finances, and I may complete a part two where we look at his finances in his natal chart. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe.